welcome back to 918 Disc Golf, and welcome back to another Tulsa Tour Trials. Back out here with our boy Damien, this time at Chandler Park. Let's get into it. Perfect. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I haven't been out here since uh, January, February, when I was doing the leveling up series. But we're back out here. We're gonna see if we can do some ace runs today. We'll start with hole one, 220 feet, right there, elevated basket. I have yet to hit this line on camera, so we'll see if I can do it today. I'm like 0 for 3 and it's in my head, baby. Uh, literally perfect. It looks like everybody's out with their leaf blowers today. I'm going to make the most of it. Hey. All right, that'll work. Big time lead after one hole. All right, guys, we're at hole two. We got a par three, 206 feet. Pretty much dead straight. Let's see if we can park her. Looks pretty good. Almost aced it. <laughs> we need it after this weekend. All right, taking a page out of Damien's book. We're also gonna go forehand with his own. Oh boy, come back. Paul. She'll fade. I were like 40 feet, Damien's park, so I gotta make this to keep it one. I don't know what it is lately. Being on camera and like, I just can't putt all of a sudden. Ooh, two strokes. It's bloody boy. All right, so before I get onto hole three's intro, it is important to note that Damien has a two stroke lead, which is important because he needs that in order for us to go to round three. I took the first one by a couple. So we're out here. If he wins, we go to round three. If I win, it's over. But getting into hole three, this one's gonna be 217 foot par three. Uh, there is no OB at Chandler, so just just note that now. Damien's box, let's see what he does with it. Okay, not bad. Still a putt. Thought it was going to be pretty far. All right, taking the play out of Damien's playbook. We're going to go back to the forehand as well with a quake. Same thing, Anheuser, let it fade out. Hopefully it will be close. I hope you guys are ready to see some extraordinary disc golf today. <laughs> Might be in danger of taking a bogey, so don't want to do that. Just gonna try to get myself up and down. Well, that's not getting myself up and down. <laughs> About a uh, 40 foot straddle putt. All right, we're good. If y'all thought the mosquitoes were bad at Davilio, they're even worse out here. <laughs> they're uh, in the camera. About a 40 foot straddle pipe. <laughs> I'm trying to save my par. You know what? Blame mosquitoes. Good game. Dame to go three for three. Big pot. Just a little. Just wanted to give you guys a highlight of last weekend. There we are, good stuff. All right guys, hole four, we got a par three, 110 feet, pretty much dead straight. Let's see if we can get one in the hole. Have a bogey, 110 foot. <laughs> feeling is if I can ace here, we're back in it. Damien is in some garbage, so I don't know if uh, he actually might take a bogey. We'll see. Let me go zone forehand. I, You're I, with me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what I'm doing. Sometimes you just play bad and uh, not a lot to say about it, but this is where we need to bring the term thugging it out back. Bone thugs in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Go in the basket. <laughs> what you got in there, buddy? Is 
that's how you do it. Yeah, this is an incredibly difficult hole. Probably the hardest hole out here. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> Good stuff. That's how you pour a 110 foot hole. Let's go. You guys are enjoying the excellent display of skill out here at uh, Chandler Bear. I don't think you're gonna find two better players to play this course. Though in my defense, if I haven't played a course in more than three weeks, it's basically like I'm playing a new course. So this is what you get to expect if I ever go anywhere new. Hole five, about 240 feet, dog leg to the left. There's a couple trees in the middle that if you can kind of get through those and then fade hard left, you're usually gonna find yourself in a pretty good spot. Expect about a 25 to 30 foot putt. I'm gonna go Quake. I hate my life. Damien's taking a little different play. He's gonna go over the top. I never throw these. That's you, my defense here. You know we're in for a treat then. I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll, we'll do our best. I think I regret this every time. Uh, I mean, it is probably going to end up in a better spot than mine, so. We're a little left. I am self-declaring, um, this is my last bad hole, so stick around, you're about to see some fireworks. It's worth it, I promise. I've been sandbagging this entire time. Here we see Damien in his natural habitat, the rough. He's going to try to make a simple upshot. Very simple. <laughs> Let's see if it can be done. Execution completed. How does he feel about it? Six out of ten. Not very good. <laughs> Alright guys, seriously, we're done playing bad. All putts from here on out are going to look extremely good. Shout out, Scott. No more missing. Thank you, Scott, for the amazing tip of just hit more putts. You the man. Cracked. Insane. All right, guys, hole six, par three, 220. Pretty narrow gap all the way straight down. Uh, Jacob's box, let's do it. So being that this is a pretty straight hole, I think that it calls for something that has a little bit of flip up. I'm gonna go fuse. I'm going to give it a little bit more than I usually do because this thing has not been flipping for me even though it's a negative one turn. Flight numbers are a myth. You know, sometimes mm. it's better to be lucky than good. You got a putt. I like to play call. I'm going to throw the hex. Negative one one. Go dead straight. That has more of a turn to oh. it than my fuse. Just a little bit. Sympathy? Sympathy putt? Call that the skeeter putt. Shut up, bird. Even the bird's laughing at us. Just to show you guys a made putt. Yeah, normally I can uh, feel confident in like not showing all of the putts because usually like something like this, you'd consider it a tap in. But today, I think it's important that we actually keep the camera on us at all times when we're putting because even this could miss. At this point, the only thing I can say is uh, I need to learn how to crawl before I walk again. So hole seven, 130 feet, just straight in your face. We're gonna go flip up with a putter, pure. I need to put this underneath the basket at this point. Or in it. I mean, hitting metal kind of feels good because I haven't done that all day. Hook lab glitch. That's in it. More like ace lab glitch? Oh! oh, I missed it. You make a pretty good door though. Watch the pitch. Pitch is going in. You gotta dodge out of the way when you throw. There we go. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. Right I have faith in this. I have faith in you as well.
Hey, pretty good. Okay. All right. All right, these are my kind of putts today. Again, showing you guys so that you know it's legitimate. All right, guys, hole eight. Got a par three, basically 180. A little dog left through the trees. Jacob's box. I believe this is a P1, so that's what we're gonna go with. Didn't hurt it. I'll take that. Go to zone. Zone boys back. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I can't throw a disc. Same. Also, you may notice that the stamps are still not wiped. I honestly think I might just keep them that way at this point. Kind of a meme. Last hole on the front, and I'm sure we have you on the absolute edge of your seat. Both of us sitting one down through uh, eight holes. Hole nine, 170 foot, par three right, right in your face. You want to ace, and it goes on forehand. I just want a birdie. I want ace. Do it. And now I'm 45 feet long. That's why you don't ace run baskets out here. All right, I think we're ready now. Oh, that could do something special. <sighs> now I'm 40 feet. I didn't deserve to go in. Uh, it was a horrible putt. Absolutely atrocious, but sometimes it's you in. deserve it. All right, guys, hole 10, par 3, 240. You either got a forehand or a pretty tight, pretty overstable backhand. Jacob's box. Let's do it. One cool thing, if you take out the first six holes, kind of on a heater, that was a turkey. Let's see if we can continue. The answer is no, we cannot. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Third throwing attempt with the PA3. And he does it. Mm. You mm. can't say I didn't try. I'm actually gonna try. I'm trying, but I'm gonna try harder, I guess. I'm not trying. It tried to pop out on you. They just don't like me today. All right, hole 11, 198 foot par three. Right there, basically a hyzer zone. I just haven't noticed this is the championship layout. <laughs> That's really? a putt. How did it hit the tree? I mean, it's still like pretty much parked, but that's annoying. No idea. No, oh, that's pretty good. Hopefully I don't have to putt that. We can make these. These are fun. That might be our first star frame. All right, guys, hole 12, par three. Longest hole in the course. <laughs> 265. 265. MD4. Should be pretty good. I kind of slipped on the teapad a little bit. We're going to build a zone again. That's pretty good. I hope. Just to clarify, this is the longest hole in the course, by one foot. Oh, do it. Ah! That's kind of close. It's a little nitro action, baby.
It doesn't look like it's gonna stick. Skip. Oh, he almost gave you the chains. Oh, it's a ball game, boys. Something about putting like garbage all day, you just wanna leave. Mm-hmm. You got it. He can do it. Hole 14, par three, 144 feet. Hole 44. Might go over the top, I got the box. Okay. I walk a lonely road. Don't attempt number four with the PA3. Uh, not bad. Park? Kind of pooped myself a little bit going. Oh no. And just like that, Damien takes the lead. Wild man. Choke that one right away, bud. Hole 15, 236 foot, par three. Chilling right out there. Damien's box. See what he does with it. Oh, that's boosted. I was gonna say, that's boosted, brother. Woo! Tried this at Riverside and it didn't go too well. Maybe Chandler's a different animal. I'm gonna throw a rive on a 230 foot hole. Alright, I'm never throwing that disc again on the forehand on a 230 foot hole. <laughs> Yet another 80 foot uh, putt attempt, no big deal. Throw in with the PA3. Oh yeah, there we go, there's another three. I love this course. Hole 16, par 3, 160 feet, it's pretty much straight on. I got the box, let's do it. That looks good. Maybe yeah. Stopped. Say you parked. He's liking this P1 today, guys. Lucky, but we'll take it. All right, actually, though, good game. <laughs> See, it's all but going to match three, which we can announce now is going to be at Centennial. But with two holes to play. And they're very exciting. Hole 17, right there. Looks like Amanda was added, courtesy of your boy. I'm gonna claim rights to that one because the only other two videos I've done out here, I did the skip play on the right hand side. Maybe people didn't like that too much. I don't know. I respect it. But it's Damien's box, so we'll see what he does. That's okay. We're going deep. Remember how I said I wasn't gonna throw my rive on a 200 foot hole? Technically I didn't lie, this is under 200 feet, so we're gonna see how it goes. Mm. But is there anything that you want to say to your fans after today's match? Don't go look at Norman Pro Am. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, guys, hole 18, pretty much 180 feet. Um, I got two strokes on Jacob, so it's looking like we'll go to Centennial, but you never know. I anything like can happen. Things. I think I'm going to try to ace it. I like this hole. Let it tee pad. <laughs> Danger. Too deep. But technically not OB, because it's Chandler. That's it. Or it's going to keep rolling. I think like backspin like skid across the ground like it's NASCAR did you expect anything less from me people who would have thunk it we've been on one today oh 
Well, he did it. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap. Tulsa Tour Trials, Series 2, Episode 2. Damien taking home the W this time. It's gonna push us to match three, which is gonna be out at Centennial Park in Owasso. It'll be a lot of fun. It's on shorts right now. So also, plenty of opportunity to ace, though it isn't as short as this course. Everything's around the 300 foot range. So we'll see you guys out there. Peace.